What's up guys, it's Mike from Jersey Connect. In today's video, we're gonna break down the difference between a Mitchell and Ness Swingman jersey and a Mitchell and Ness Authentic. So the Mitchell and Ness NBA line has two tiers of jerseys. They have the Swingman, which retails for 130 bucks, which is gonna be your basic and standard NBA jersey. And the Authentic right over here retails for $300 or a little more depending if you get patches. In the authentic version, they try to recreate these classic jerseys as close as possible to what the players worn in those eras. So they're going to use the same high-end material, same construction, just the way it's built, but it comes at a premium price. Quick heads up, if you already know the difference between the Swingman and the Authentic, this video may not be for you. It's going to be geared toward people who haven't bought Mitchell and Ness jerseys, you know, or just new to it, or, you know, haven't bought a Mitchell and Ness jersey in a while because the Swingman line has changed throughout the years. They used to be stitched. They're all heat pressed now, so there's little differences here and there. So in today's video, I'm just gonna break down both jerseys so you know what features come in a Swingman and what comes in an Authentic. So if you're ever on the fence and don't know what to buy, hopefully this helps you out. And again, before we get started, if you guys find this video helpful or entertaining, an easy way to support the channel is just by hitting like, hit subscribe, and hit that notification bell so when I drop new videos, you don't miss out. Let's go ahead and get into it. The first thing that we're going to focus on is the jersey polyester base. So for Mitchell and Ness Swingman jerseys, they always use the same standard Swingman fabric. So it's all the same throughout the Swingman line. And I just wanted to show you guys the stretch before we do a close up. You see how stretchy it is? These things can really stretch. In the authentic version, they use a heavier polyester compared to the Swingman line. So it's a little heavier, but you can see it doesn't stretch as much just tighter knit, just higher quality fabric, but it really does differ because some teams, you know, like the Denver Nuggets, they had like a silkier texture back then, they'll use a silkier polyester. So depending on the team and what jersey you're looking at, in general, the Authentics use a higher quality polyester base. And when we take a closer look at the polyester, taking a look at the Swingman right here, look at the jersey base. Those holes are pretty prominent, you can see it, but it creates like a stretchier fabric. Then when we go to the Authentic, just a little more tight knit. Like I said, they're gonna use a higher quality fabric for this, a little heavier. The next difference we're gonna focus on is the lettering and numbering. So on the Swingman jerseys, they're all heat pressed. So it may look like it's stitching, you see that design? It's actually heat pressed when you actually take a look at it. So all the Swingman jerseys are heat pressed. Numbering, you got the same way. Looks like it's stitching on the gray area, but it's all heat pressed. And when we go to the Authentic, they're gonna be stitched down. So they have a twill lettering. Let me get the shadow out. All stitched down, you can see right over here. Duncan, all stitched. And the numbering right here, it's gonna be a lot more detailed than the Swingman version. You can see it had like printed numbers. Right over here, there's double stitched layers. Not every authentic is gonna be double stitched. It's depending on the actual jersey. But you can see there's two layers, that black layer and then you have the silver layer. All stitched down. So in terms of longevity, this will probably last you a lot longer. So we got the front side of the Swingman jersey. You can see it has that kind of 3D effect, but it's all one heat press piece. Got the logo, the spur, numbering, you got the same style. All heat pressed. Then when we go to the actual authentic, just look at it. So there's two different layers of stitching and actually two polyester twill bases. So got that silver base and the black base. But look how beautiful the stitching is. Look at that logo. And then the numbering, you got the same style as the back. And like I said, not every authentic jersey is gonna be double stitched, but they will be stitched. The next thing that we're gonna focus on is the NBA logo in patches. So right over here, we're looking at the Swingman jersey. They use a fabric material, and instead of it being stitched down, it's actually heat pressed, as you can see. I mean, it's nice and flush, but it looks nicer embroidered. So when we go to the authentic version, just look how beautiful that looks. 
little upgraded material and it's actually embroidered onto the jersey. And you can see it when you flip it inside out. That's where it's embroidered. And right over here, we got the NBA Finals patch on this particular jersey. That's all embroidered onto the jersey. So you're gonna get little extra patches if you get the authentic version, depending on the jersey. Not all jerseys have patches like this, specific ones. But if you do get patches like these, um, those jerseys tend to cost a little more around like $25 or $30 more. Right here, we're gonna take a look at the Swingman patches. So you have $98.99. And Tim Duncan you can see it's printed onto this white fabric and it's stitched down and the patch here hardwood classic NBA logo you know Mitchell and that stuff it's actually stitched down onto the fabric and it's a pretty sturdy material on the swingman then it says swingman down here but when you go to the authentic version so right over here you get this felt material patch and it's also stitched down but you can see the numbering and lettering is embroidered onto the patch so the patch is stitched down and then you have this embroidered then you got the same thing here hardwood classic authentic so this time it says authentic but this one's actually way sturdier so the swingman version was sturdy this one's a lot thicker you can tell this is like really high quality and instead of it saying swingman it has a sizing number here we're just going to quickly run through the neck label and the retail tags. So Mitchell and Ness Swingman Collection. So they just use medium, made in China. So you get this little thin rope here on the Swingman. Like I said, 130 bucks. Nice little tag. And there's one more tag to go with it. NBA Store Hardwood Classic with the little holograph. But when we go to the authentic, it's a little different. Mitchell and Ness, Philadelphia. So they use the lettering, which M is for medium, but they also use a number sizing. So 40, and right over here you got that tag, NBA Store Hardwood Classic with the holograph. But you can see the rope here is a little fancier. You get this tag, Mitchell and Ness, authentic. And then you get the price tag here, 325 bucks, because I got it with the patch. So if it didn't have the patch, they're usually around 300, but you can see here the sizing. Another difference between the Swingman and the Authentic is just the little detail. So right over here, you can see the polyester. You see that side panel? You see that polyester strip that goes throughout this side? It's stitched down. It's like really thin. But when you go to the Authentic version, look what they use here. It's just a thicker polyester. It's also stitched down, but it just looks nicer. We're just gonna take a quick look at the arm opening and the collar on the Swingman jersey. So you can see it's a rib material and they have colors sublimated. They actually use a very thick material on here. And on the Authentics, I believe it's pretty much the same material. It's very thick. So that's one kind of similarity. The collars are pretty much the same. Right now I'm wearing a Swingman version of the jersey so you can kind of see what it looks like. So this is a size medium. I've chose my t-shirt size and it fits perfectly. So this is the front. You got the side panel. You got the back of the jersey here. So with both jerseys, there's gonna be pros and cons. So for instance, the heat press lettering and numbering. Not everyone's gonna like it, especially those who have bought the Mitchell and S Swingman in the past that it were stitched, you know, it feels like a downgrade in quality. I kind of like it sometimes just because it's lightweight. You see how I'm creasing these things and it kind of goes back to form. It just depends on how you look at it. So if you hate the heat press, so obviously it's a con and it's just something you don't like, but if you're into it, hey, it works out as a pro, it's just lightweight, keeps the jersey a little lighter. Another thing I like about the Swingman jersey is the price. So this is 130 bucks and I know it's not the cheapest thing, but compared to the authentic, you got 130, and then you got 300 so you know 300 is a lot more expensive and if you get two of these it's 260 plus tax you get one authentic jersey it's 300 bucks plus tax so you're kind of like creeping up to the 400 range overall the swing main line is going to be your most affordable option when it comes to mitchell and ness throwback nba jerseys it's going to be your basic and standard mitchell and ness swing man jersey but great for anybody who is new to collecting or haven't bought a jersey before, it's a great start off point. And then also, if you like collecting a whole bunch of players for cheap, 
I mean, the Swingmans usually go on sale, so that's always a bonus, but you could also get, like I said, two Swingman for one Authentic. So if you like collecting in volume, it's a better start off point. And right here, I'm wearing the Authentic version of the jersey. So this is a size medium. It fits just as well as a Swingman. Some Swingman jerseys can be a little boxier, but hey, they both fit really nice. So right here, you can see the little details. It looks so much cleaner. You got the little patches and you see the stitching, the double layer, sick. And then you got the side, pretty much the same, just that little kind of upgraded material. Then you got the back of the jersey. The Mitchell and Ness Authentic jerseys are amazing. Like you can see the little details, the stitching, you get the extra little patches. And then when you actually feel this compared to a Swingman jersey, you can tell this is really high quality and just very durable. You won't have to question durability ever with these authentic versions. The thing is, it is so hard to go from an authentic to Swingman jersey. Once you get spoiled with one of these bad boys, it's kind of hard to go back, you know, kind of go a step backwards. As amazing as these are, the only drawback on these authentic versions is the price. It's 300 bucks, so I know not everybody wants to commit 300 bucks to a jersey, and it's tough. I mean, it's either food or a jersey. It depends on you. If you're gonna collect your favorite player, I suggest saving up and shelling out the money for an authentic, just because if you love that player and you're just gonna wear that jersey for years to come, like, they're gonna stay nice for a long time, and the details, it just looks dope overall. All right, guys, thank you guys for watching again and hope this helps out. Peace out and on to the next video.